Hello and welcome everyone, La Heart here with Jackie Fish. Hey, how's it going? And we are back with part two of our multiplayer campaign, Sal Sal vs. Leo Bay on Total War Three Kingdoms. We are a turn ahead from where we left things last time, both me and Jackie have had a turn. We wanted to play through a little bit more, but uh, actually my uh, credibility has just reached the level I need to instigate a proxy war. So I'm going to pick things up from here and keep on playing for another hour or so. Uh, again, a quick reminder, we will be streaming three hours more of this multiplayer campaign on Monday the 13th of May on my Twitch and on Jackie's YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Ancillary's game, I've got another farm manager. They're just farm managers everywhere right now. I finally remembered to pop that on uh, Lady uh, Bian. That's good. What, what does that give? This is just a big boost to population uh, or money? That gives hopefully. plus 10% income from peasantry administered, administered, uh, administered commandery. That's pretty goddamn nice. So yeah, seeing as I'm all about food in my farmlands, uh, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a good one to go for. Army is pretty, uh, pretty pretty wrecked at the moment. Um, <laughs> the fishes send their regards for that one. Yeah, th thanks, thanks for that. Uh, that's that's great. Um, I move this army out. Do we still have the same amount of replenishment? Mm, no. But I kind of. I kind of have to move because oh, can I not get have I just gone under the percentage amount I must have done because this guy is moving in as well for the iron mine I've got to, I've got to go for it I guess um, I guess we'll move here and we'll go into ambush just in case there's someone over there but I can't see because of the fog of war right now but it's proxy war time uh, I think I need some help from good old <laughs> Wang, and I've, had, it... I've, I've heard that Wang really wants to go to war with uh, Tao Kwan. Oh, well, I mean, if anything, it's going to help me out, because if Tao Kwan dies, I'm pretty sure I get his territory, so you proxy all you like, my, my good um, I'm going to give it a go, because I, I just want good relations with Wang, because he's going to act, hopefully, as a decent buffer. <laughs> As a bastion to yeah. to prevent me from coming in. I mean, I have no plans. I'm I'm busy conquering Han territory. You know, who should be loyal to me, and I'm I'm happy over here, just prospering. Prospering. I'm a I'm a peaceful trading nation, as it were. I just need to give him some more stuff. Wang wants a, a decent amount for this uh, proxy war kickoff. Um, I've traded him some ancillaries. Let's. Offer some food. Oh god, not that much food. Just one food. You're a hungry boy, right? Yeah, there we go. In fact, how about you pay me some money? Nope, too much. Okay. <laughs> Request payment denied. Too much, too much. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get anything. Okay, well, we'll go positive on it then, I guess. A little bit of food. Proposed deal. Go. Right. So... Wang is now in that war. Bitch, I just go back. How does he feel about me? He's uh, quite happy with that. Good. Sao Sao uh, influences all those that surround. Good. We've just done that. Let's go through a turn. I get another reform next turn as well. Oh, nice. I've got a good omen going on. Plus 10 public order for five turns. A festival. Hey, I'll take that because I've got a lot of unhappy provinces. Oh, there's also an army to the north of me as well, moving in to help or go, like, go and hit the Kong. The Kong wrong. Oh, you're going to have to but, Kong wrong now. Oh, no, there's, a, there's the Han army moving in for it. But I would very much like to sit back and hang out for a turn or two, you know, and get my replenishment. It took me two turns to hit that city. But yeah, I think an extra turn. It's winter anyway, so I don't really want to be moving in the winter anyway. And there you go, there's the because you just integrated a proxy war between Wang and and Tao Xuin. Which is not good for me because if if Wang gets a lot of territory, that's bad because it means I have to go for him to get to you. So what I'm hearing is good Wang. Yeah, I mean, not so much for me. Good wang. Good wang. Okay, one more turn left about assignment, which is good. Oh, also off camera as well, I gave a few ancillaries to a bunch of my dudes, gave them thoroughbreds. 
Uh, Zhang Fei now has a bow, which he can shoot at the beginning of a battle, just because why not? He can that's shoot. That's just that's just horrible. <laughs> Yeah, he's a drunk <laughs> Fei like, already <laughs> a beast and oh now you've given him a missile ability great great exactly um, I've also got a book of songs so I just imagine Liu Bei singing to his men it gives some extra morale well six morale is actually quite a lot so you want to give us a quick tune from that <laughs> oh no you, you can only hear it whilst we're in battle that's uh, private okay but besides that it's winter so we're just waiting it out we get our next reform next turn and then I want to I want to move on that hand settlement because once that's taken out, then basically I can focus on the yellow turbans and then I can focus on you. So. Ah, uh, Kongjo's moving back. Oh, what was that? Yeah. that was I imagine. A quick little thing up in there. Oh, great! What? Wang Guang has declared war on me. Oh, you're in a tricky situation. And uh, the civil war. Oh god, where is where is that one? Oh, Wang oh, Wang Kuang's already over there. Okay. Got that trading port. Well, who's he? Where is he? He is at war with me. Dongming, Han Empire. Oh, it's because part. I'm assuming it's part of what, war. Yang Yang. Okay. Negotiate. Peace? Peace? One peace? No. Oh, wow. Minus 47. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, um. Who around me does you want to choose? So, oh, he's, he's free for trade. Yes, and I know exactly what reform I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> the trade route one. Oh, yeah, yes. bonus trade route, baby. Straight back to diplomacy. Straight on to. Um, you want to shoot? Although he's actually not guaranteed to trade with me. Uh, he is. I'm not hoping I could. It's quite a nice bit of trade and resources available. Uh, that's I think that's iron and I don't know what the other one is there. Let's negotiate. Let's, ha let's have a ha have a haggle. Oh, it's only minus 0 0.3, so I'm pretty sure that oh I can just offer you a little bit of food. I'm, oh wait, no I can't because I'm already trading you food. Damn. Best bargaining chip. I can't even trade <laughs> any I mean, the ancillaries. Need to eat. If the peasants aren't happy, we'll have a rebellion. I'll, offer, I'll actually have to offer him money for this. Probably have bled mm, dry to the north if I die. But considering I've acknowledged his legitimacy for five more turns, uh, probably best to get some juicy trade with him. So let's propose that deal. Plus, it pisses off uh, Tao Kwan. So, suck it. I really want to move on that iron mine, but I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, I mean, well, if you have the money, I mean, maybe a secondary army would be nice as well, just to supplement your force. Oh, he's building up an army. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> Pull back. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna need to raise another force. Um. Oh days. Yeah. Well, I found as well that like just even if you're in debt a little bit. You can just, you know, keep it up. Even if you're like minus two, three hundred gold, it's, it's fine as long as you're taking territory with them armies. Annoyingly, all those legendary strategists have gone. Um, oh no, that's unfortunate. But I couldn't really afford them, or I didn't place much importance on doing it. You need to trade more food, my friend. <laughs> uh, trade more food. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a thousand one hundred income a turn. Oh, that's shabby, loads. Right? Yeah, that's quite a lot, right? That's all good. You're, yeah, you're Gucci. Um, increased provisions. What does that one do? He is come from commerce action wide. I'm gonna go for the tactician. Firm him first. Get some trebs. My mushroom, but yeah, trebs. Trebs are bay. They're they're expensive, but they are they are so incredibly good. expensive. I can't actually afford them right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, Especially as well because of how strong the towers are in the game. Like you saw in the last battle, last episode, you know how much damage they were doing. So if you can take them out early, then it's beyond useful. I really need to get more characters in here. Actually, oh, I can only do one assignment anyway. I've got to go up a rank. Take a while. Right. Um, 
I might actually just go back to diplomacy and quick deal it and see if anyone values a treaty where I can um, chuck a load of stuff at them and then give me a load of money. But no one's really up for it, apart from uh, Huang Zhu, or Xu, who is... Who is he under? He is the vassal of... Back to the main. Negotiate bit. I'm pretty sure it's the Obwau. Yes, it is. I don't want to mess with him. Big Daddy Brow. Um, he is much stronger than me as well, according to the Red Arrows. We don't want to do that. Mm. Troublesome, this is. Troublesome. Seems like you're in a real tricky situation um, right yeah, now. I'm, I'm not feeling good right now. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just going to have to... End of the turn. That's that's all I can do right now. Yeah, so things are troublesome for you, but I think we're looking quite like we're looking quite good for Lu Bei, you know? Everything's coming um, up, him and his bros. Just... I'm happy that I got Wang to go after uh, Tao Kwan though, because at least he's gonna keep him busy. Yeah, it might even take all that territory as well before I can snatch it up. Although actually I keep I need to set him a war target. That's what I need to do. Oh, and I am a minor strategic threat, so minus five diplomatic attitude penalty with most factions. Great! <laughs> it's just, oh, it's, it's just what you want to hear. Yeah. It's strength yeah. to strength. This is great. It's reform time. It's reform I think time. It's 10% from all sources. It's just so juicy. That is nice. That's very juicy. That's yeah. the uh, uh, civil service recommendations, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really good. The next one isn't necessarily as great. Like, it's 15% from industry, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, one and then the one, one after that is more industry, but a massive plus 40% from silk and spice. So if you have either of those resources and you're upgrading their buildings, definitely worth getting all of that, the merchant tax yeah. exemption. I think, I think now on, I've got a bit of green. I've got a bit of the blue trading one. I've got quite a few of the... The civic ones, I think it's now time for some military when I get my next reform in five turns. Yeah, going off some military bits and pieces. I'm thinking I'm going to probably push through green, though, just for even more population growth and ideally those azure dragons eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a great idea to do that because the earlier you get it, the better it is. Definitely. Right, so I'm probably gonna have to. Oh, that's really annoying because he's uh, he's gonna come back with a vengeance, I imagine. I so, hope so. I really do. I think he. I think it's gonna be yeah sh the the he showdown. This is so interesting because you're like saying all these problems and all these different positions where the armies are, and I haven't even met you. Yet. I have no idea what is going on beyond Wang's land. So uh, it's very hard to like. Just even when you're talking, it's very hard to pinpoint where the action's going on. So. I don't know if you're one province away from me or, you know, ten provinces away from me, for example. I think I I think I I think I know roughly where yours are from having played um Leo Bay before. Yeah. I think I think you're just above uh Peng Chang. Which um uh, Tao Kwan has. I could possibly be just above there or I, I could, could not. I could possibly that way, yes. Indeed. Well, that's my, that's my turn done, sir. Preparing for hopefully a decent siege because it's level five settlement. Good luck. <laughs> and we'll be going in for it soon. Oh, he's up to something as well. Then I think. Right. Um, I need to talk to Wang. Oh, I can't set him a walk or coordination. Even though it rewards the same one because we don't have a coalition. Um, and I can't form a coalition till I'm second marquee. Yes. Yeah, so you just need to try and take some more land, I guess. I think cities yeah. count for a lot. Uh, was that a... That's an ancillary. That's even more. Population growth, administrative commandery. I want that one there. Um... You really want to get another one of those. All right, what I'm going to have to do, Sal Sal, you're going to have to ambush here. We want you guys. We need to get some units in here. I really want to go for Treb, so that's going to be all my money. 
Um, oh, it's worth it, though. It's worth it. <sighs> they're nice, but I feel like... Mm. Just think you never have to go on the offensive again. I always have to come to you whenever I play as the AI. That is true. I think I'd rather get some other troops in there first, though. You're a madman. Crazy boy. Two more units in there. Large town now. Good. And we've got walls. Well, have we got walls? Actually, it's just tower level, isn't it? I do not have walls. When we upgrade again, then it gets walls. Okay. And quickly back to diplomacy. Many, all the ones that are maybes, it's it's like that's they're gonna want stuff from me. That said, I should probably just go through and negotiate and just see who's low on food, who's poor on food. Yeah, let's just try and sell some food. Let's offer, let's offer five food. Oh ho ho! That's look, that's looking promising. Oh yes, here we go. <laughs> Pumped to make some money, it oh. sounds like. Oh, well, damn, too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, that's too much at that point. If I keep rocking it back and forward, it, it will eventually go to a point where it settles. Oh, damn, went past it. Okay, I can get 354 of 10 turns for 5 food. Oh my god, that's insane. Propose. Now you can buy some trebuchets. Now I can buy some trebuchets next turn, for sure. It's all this. What are you, what are you, what are you selling all your food for, Trebs? <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> you need... But, but people don't need to eat, it's fine. Yeah. Thing is, as Salsa, with all this rich, fertile farmland all around him, you're definitely going to want to utilise um, the food as a you know another resource to trade off to get more money, just as I've done here. Yeah, um, for sure. Um, yeah, you're on the open pl planes for a reason, right? So you want to take advantage of it. Ooh, I Whereas, can convert that over. Nice. I'm actually uh, just demolishing one of my food buildings now to maybe build a military one, just to buff up my capital a little bit, because it's like on the border, which will probably eventually be our border we'll be fighting over. And I've got nine food now, but I've taken a fishing port and a, a farm, farmland. Also, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to annex this province because the garrison isn't very exciting. They moved their army out as well. I mean, it was just a small army anyway, but they've moved it out. So I think I'm just going to annex it because they only have three units of infantry in the defense. So it wouldn't be wouldn't be super exciting to fight. And I'll integrate them as well, giving me good faction support. Yeah, it gives you me 30. Are you at war with Huang Shao, actually? Uh, yeah, I am. Hmm. Like I say, actually, if you were to go for that temple at some point, then we could we definitely meet there. Yeah. Well, now I've uh, now that I've taken this city, I will be heading that way now. So, oh, the great meeting, yeah. the great. Uh... <laughs> indeed, indeed. Wanna wanna form a coalition? Oh, a coalition. I mean, one of us has to get to second marquee right first. So. Yeah. I'm this about a... um, twenty two out of fifty towards it. I am... Um, wow, you get the second marquee really quickly. I'm 48 out of 80. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah, so yours is up to 50 and mine's up to 80. It's crazy. Wow. Um, I've also just secured myself a nice... Yeah, my food is going to be good now. I'm going to destroy this military building back here and just build food galore. Because this <laughs> is like... this is. I am basically might as well just go over to Korea or something. I'm, I'm almost touching it. This is going to be my food bastion in the in, in the, the east. East, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've reached out all the way over there. So how many how many commanderies do you have? I have enough. I have enough. <laughs> I, have, I have a few. No, I, I only have two now. Okay. Two full commanderies. Two full commanderies. So. Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to do. If he doesn't smush me. Yeah, I would love another army, but I think I just. I mean, what I could do actually, I could get. Guan Yu, like, just to go off by himself and do his own thing, because he has an ability that gives me an extra army, or maybe it's Zheng Fei, who gives me an army very early on. And I might... Yeah, I might look to do that, just so I can have two armies, but I don't I don't want to split my brothers up, you know? It's so <laughs> cool having them all... Having them all, all together. together. Plus, they're yeah. in harmony, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're, they're the best of bros, literally. They all fight well, and die together. And also, if any of them do die, 
I imagine on the battlefield, they uh, go absolute creep. Hello, Yuan Chu. He wants to marry. Oh, he, uh, he wants oh, to arrange a marriage. Is... Their character you're, you're will gonna... join our faction. But he also wants territory from me. He wants my farmland. Oh, definitely uh, not. Uh, no. Uh, 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 cancel. No, that's not happening. Reject. It's nice to be able to trade territory, but I have the option to. Yeah. Alsal rejects it. Yeah, I've, I've chosen I've chosen a brother to, <laughs> to support. Whether that will come mm. to bite me in the uh, the butt later or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully it does. I'm, I'm definitely hoping it does. Oh, the search for talent. You send word far and wide that you're seeking talent to be your junior court. One has been found who fits your needs, and they await your decision. Okay, character recruited. Oh, a legendary sentinel that's a trader. Could she be a spy that's just appeared? No, I think it was for an event, surely. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. I mean, also, I, this I might be showing my lack of knowledge of the period. Maybe she's um, <laughs> yeah, comes a south, south, famous like really. uh, character, yeah. Oh, what happened to my... Oh, that's that's uh, Sal, Sal P. Sal Pi. He's age six. That one will come of age soon. Okay, well, maybe I can pop... Can I pop her in? Hit no, 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 no. Only got the one available. Another farm manager gained. I'm not going to try and sell that off, actually. Buildings. Okie dokie. Right, well, we know what we're recruiting in today. Rebs. Rebs. What I like to hear. Days. Alright, let's get that one in. But also, let's negotiate. Oh, okay. Let's try and trade that farm manager over. Get some money. We get a huge amount. A bit more. Never hurt. Oh, quite a lot more. Hello. Oh, you're on chow. I love you. And your deep, deep pockets. <laughs> He's going to be funding your wars for years to come. I he is, yeah. See. Kind of like proxy wars of his own just by funding them. Great. Got to find the right amount. Yeah, there we go. So 312 for 10 turns in return for a follower that I've already got a double of. Thank wow, you. I think if I need a loan from the Iron Bank, I need to come to you. Yeah, yeah, Sal Sal, uh, Sal, Sal delivers. Uh, let's just go quick deals. Aggression, who wants peace? Mm, nothing there. I don't think I've got any other followers free, do I? Herdsman, that's the one we've already got. So is that a spare one? No, he's got one here. Wandry Resolve. I don't really want to give him that. Um, I don't think I've got enough. I can get another archer in there. I'll complete that. I guess that's what we're going to have to go for. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing I need to do. I need to convert this over as well. Or, you know, build something here as well. That would also, <laughs> that would also be a good thing. Income from Peasantry, but minus four public order. Not ideal. What I want is something that boosts industry income because I've already got a workshop there. Like uh, private workshops. Great. Let's do commerce. What else? What's the other one over here? It's an iron mine, so income from all sources. That costs a fair bit. Probably... We look at some of these guys in the building chain. I can see if there's any that add or later on. Go through the workshops, commerce, and industry income. That's quite a lot, actually. Nothing direct, though. Hmm. We will see what becomes available. Over to the fish. Yeah, there we go. Dong Ming has also declared war on me. 
Um, I love the government support building chain where you can get 25% more food and more income from a peasant tree. Such a nice building chain. Which one's that? The administration? It's one of, yeah, it's one of the greens. Um, oh, one of the greens. It's the government support. Oh, right. And it gives you 25% or it increases at the top and you can get up to 150% food production. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a ton of money from the peasant tree. And in this, in this province, I have farmland, and I also have a, a pier, which gives me food from fishing, and also a land registry office, which gives me food as well. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the breadbasket of my empire for sure. Let's also take a little look-see if anyone wants to unify with me yet. No, no one quite wants to unify. And the Wang would give me military access as well. I'll be within your capital in a couple of months, don't you worry. Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound guess. too friendly. I guess we just start making our way back west now. It was a, it was a risky move, me going all the way out here, because I wasn't sure if you were going to like push towards me very quickly, but it seems like you ran into a lot of problems, which definitely benefited me. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it was all... It was just seeing the situation with He Yi developing, and it's like the the fact that Yuan Shu just smashed his army, but then didn't advance on his territory. I thought that's that's going to be nice pickings. Um, so I wanted to go for that, and plus I was able to get that support from Wang Lang early on. So he's acting as quite a nice buffer. So Tao Kuan can't come after me. So it's allowed me yeah. to expand out to the west a little bit more, so I can raise my power, ready to form a uh, well, form whatever is needed when Leo Bay appears. <laughs> it's a, I've got a very tricky situation now. I'm not sure what to do because I could be greedy and build a school in my capital just because it gives you know a passive experience bonus to all heroes. Or I could go more safe and build some military infrastructure and get like patrols and stuff which gives me a bigger garrison. I, will I upgrade my city and get an extra building slot in that time? I think I will. I think I'm going to be greedy and build some schools, get that up and running early because yeah, I imagine high level heroes shred, um, especially if I get them before, especially with my setup of heroes of Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Imagine the quicker we get that, the better. And I've got my food going on back there. The iron mine could be upgraded. That would give it a meaty ass garrison. Hmm. I think for now, we'll save our money, have a nice little stockpile. We're making cash. Eventually, I do want to build another army. Oh, we have another assignment as well. Perfect. And that's actually just destroy that building. We'll do the assignment. Probably get the one for cheaper construction costs. So now that school should be cheaper. Whoa, oh, such a min maxer. Look at me go. <laughs> and then go. I think actually I'm not sure. Do assignments take a turn to oh, kick off? Oh, ambush failed. Uh oh. Uh oh. What has happened? Uh oh. Withdraw. Withdraw. Flee for your lives. Oh, oh, oh he's run back away. Oh, that's terrifying. It's like he had he, like a twig go and he was like, oh god, run away. Oh god, yeah, that's, that's, he's raised the peasants. Okay, well, I'm Hopefully with your two armies, you can just move in and wipe yeah, them out. Yeah, the thing is, they're, they're, they're not strong. I'm not, I've not recovered well. <laughs> what I need to do, I think, is just find, where's the best spot? Guess I go here, that's still within range, and then I need to go into ambush stance some more and hope that he heads towards me. He was in force march as well. Um uh, I mean the army I should be able to break him, but I've got to remember it's you controlling him as well, which <laughs> yep. terrifies me at the same time. Well, you've beaten me two battles in a row, the only two battles we fought and you've come out on top, so you know, I wouldn't be too terrified. Uh, convert that building over. Doubt I can recruit anyone else into this force just yet. No, we need a lot more money. Um, characters, who's saying what? Oh, she has leveled up. Uh, available assignments, only a faction elf. Mm, that's annoying. I must be tempted to make her my heir just to get the extra assignment. <laughs> but that's definitely not worth it. Gaining prestige slowly. 
Oh, so tense. <laughs> oh, no. How oh, much longer till another reform? Two more turns. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, sounds like everyone in your side just needs to chill out a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. See, oh, okay, I've lost vision on him. Awesome, just got another of them brothers in arms. My my brotherly bond has improved with Guan Yu. He's just nice. super happy with me, and our bond deepens as well. Are they oath sworn. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we start off with our oh, eternal yeah. oath oath done. Um, if we take a look at the tree, I'm pretty sure that means that if one of them falls in combat, the other one gets like crazy buffs, right? Yeah, yeah, they just go. So they're basically eight. so upset that they've lost like a sworn brother. Yeah, they they go absolutely crazy. I'm also quite good friends with uh, Gongsun Sao as well, and and his friends. I'm not sure what we did in the past to, to warrant it, but I, yeah, we're actually pretty decent friends. Maybe maybe you know, drop some food his way. Well, I haven't discovered him yet because because I went south instead of going north. I haven't met you know Yon Shao, Yon Shao, and Gongsun Sao and anyone up there, so. I've kind of like secluded myself, but I've built a pretty strong base, I would say. Lovely. Yeah, no, um, the, the defenses are good, and also I'm just building a ton of food back here as well, so I should hopefully be pretty good upgrading my farms, improving my school as well. I'm going to get a, a county academy, so I'm getting some good experience on my generals. I definitely do need more people in my court, though, because I've only got four right now, and I haven't actually really looked at my court too much, just because I haven't had the need to. Yeah. So maybe picking up an extra guy would be good, especially if I could pick up a few characters before you get the access to spies. Yes. <laughs> just so that I'm less <laughs> likely to, uh, to pick up a spy of yours. Oh, he's coming back in again! Ambush exceeded! Am I in reinforcement range? Yes! Ooh, let's, uh, oh, it's going to be one. with your superior forces. Our visors predict a Pyrrhic victory. Oh, 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 oh. It's not actually bringing I... in my settlement garrison. But it is bringing all the others. I mean, I'm going to fight it. It's, it's in my favor. Um, we've got superior forces. <sighs> Start battle. Here we go. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. I'm sorry, I haven't had a battle yet worthy worthy of fighting. Oh yeah, look at that. I actually have a decent force as well. Nice. I, I feel like we should set a rule that if anything says that the predicted outcome is a Pyrrhic victory, we should we should fight it. Because that yeah. way we get good battles and Definitely. We, we ignore boring ones. And hopefully now that I'm going uh, north yeah, against the yellow turbans, I'll get some good well, battles as well to run up. Because I haven't, I haven't fought yet. We've been playing for like yeah. an hour and a bit and we haven't even, haven't even seen a proper battle of Wu yeah, Bay and to, the boys. need to see you guys. I think, I think you should put in maybe your your next next battle you come up with you have to fight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I'm, hopefully he'll have a lot of men to the north of me now that I'm, I'm running across. I guess because I've been mainly fighting against the Han, they haven't really had much you know, in the way. They're just kind of like an early game nuisance more than anything else. A crumbling empire. Also, my entire screen is just black right now because I'm being ambushed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all is good. All is good. And this isn't single player. I can't pause it to reform up my army. It's a uh, go, go, go from the get go. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be. It's gonna be pretty mad. Yeah. Lots of micro ring. Lots of clicking. Expect no commentary whatsoever. Yeah. The, the talking stops in a minute. <laughs> okay. Oh, we also. Those in there. I'm glad that you can't see anything that's happening yeah, right now. No, it's just completely black. And that's I think as good. well that my units walk for a bit before you, like, it's, I can't control the battle until you've fired your first shot at me. So I'll just be marching in a cutscene for a little bit. And then when your first volley comes in, that's when I can suddenly start moving. And by then it's normally far too late. Nearly set up. Okay, I'm um, just ready when you are. Just let me know and I'll click start battle. Because <sighs> you know, I'm a gentleman, you see. I wait for you. Yeah, I'm good. 
Yep, I'm just marching. I'm like, I'm just, I've got the camera. Oh, there we go. I can move, I can move, I can move. Okay, good. Oh my god, my army is such a mess! Enjoy! How am I supposed to form up here? Oh my god. Go, go, go! Yeah, my archers literally don't stand a chance. I've got a few abilities, though, so let's pop down some buffs. That's a nice buff. And try and demobilize a few of you guys. I've got a break. Yeah, my archers have been slaughtered. Nice. I have a pretty good army, though, like for like frontline stuff. Yeah, I think it's very much uh, try and kill as much as physically possible this day. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I actually have a chance to try and escape if I wanted to. Yeah, you can try and pull them back. I forgot my buffs and debuffs. I think I'm, I might try and just shift my forces as far back as, as possible. But I think I just give you far too much time. Oh, it's so crazy. Yeah, that was it was so cool the way that my army, because obviously I had no idea how they were set up. It was so cool how they were like spiraled down the road and it just in like a straight line. Yeah. That made it absolutely insane. The thing is as well, my reinforcements haven't come in yet. Yeah, you have to wait a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so I've got 70 seconds until they uh, come in now. The rest of my troops up the top are desperately trying to hold on. thing is from this, I have got a push now against his settlement, even though I'm going to be pretty weakened. I've got to do I guess it. I guess it's nice that you have another army then. To, to be able to push with. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, it's going to be good because um, uh, they haven't come in yet, so it's highly unlikely I'm going to take many casualties, I would have thought, with them. I think this is my favorite yellow turban, dude. He's, uh, he's a beast. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty powerful. There you go. That veteran's about to go. Yeah, I guess I just there we commit. Go. I just commit to this, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's a hard decision. Do I just stick back and... Oh, that cavalry charge! Oh, yeah, God. So You've good. just pulled the cavalry in, though. That's actually... Smart. Pull the spears in. My cavalry units. Run away. Now the fish is wise. Unfortunately, but I just don't have enough infantry to stop charges like that. Yeah. Ooh. Top cavalry coming in. Deadly. Yeah, I mean, you may just using Saber Militia as well, but there's just not much I can really do about it. The ambush was brutal at the beginning. It's awesome. That was really satisfying. Okay, my reinforcements have all come on in. There's no need for them, by the way. There's no there. need, yeah. I'm just going to keep me back because I need them to be fresh to push on the iron mine that these guys got. It also looks really, really cool as well, the way that the the flags are all like done like in a spiral as well down the road. Yeah. Like really cool. See the initial formation, how it all formed on up. Yeah, there's a lot of cavalry in your army, but it's kind of scary. Yeah, it'll be all that focus on Vanguard and Sao Sao as a commander. Oh, they're wavering. There we go. What, what there's the route. Routed. Victory! At least, at least you didn't kill him. Yeah, didn't kill, didn't kill him. Right, he's gonna wait. Decisive yeah, so, victory, an ambush yeah. that sure achievement unlocked. <laughs> Very nice. So for anyone who was a bit curious why Lionheart didn't just chase down all the routing soldiers and kill the general, we made a rule that you can't just chase down the enemy force. Once the battle's over, it's over, you know, 
if you want to chase people down, you kind of commit troops off the front line and you do it during the battle. So that way I feel like the battles just are a lot smoother and then you have decisions of do I want to chase this army down whilst I'm fighting it or do I want to just make sure I win. Oh, kicks to the throat. <laughs> and then spinning back. So he's got 445 remaining. I've got 1,000 uh, and 1,300, I think. Oh, we've captured a character. I would rather die than betray my cause. So he won't um, join my employ. I could execute him or I could release him for 100 income. Um, yeah, 100 gold's 100 gold. I mean, 100, yeah, 100 gold is 100 gold. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to release him. Are you guys? And I'm taking the 10% replenishment right now. Oh my god, I almost managed to get rid of your high, your Tiger and Leopard Cavalry yeah. there as well. Right, they're they're very back. low. I've got to push, <gasps> push, <He's> push. push. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> There's a, a lot of angry people around me now. Yeah. Kind of, they've all just kind of come out of the woodworks. Nice. Battle incoming. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, I've gained a level. Nice. What are we going to go for? We are going to go for own retinue. Come on. Own retinue. Really want or need any of those. That is all fine. You guys are replenishing like crazy. As much as I want you to keep going, I think we've we've just got a push. We have got a push. You guys, I know you're still mustering. But we could strike the iron mine next turn if we keep going, I think. Oh, and a lot of his forces are out for two full turns. So if we push now, go Sal Sal go, I'm going for it, I'm going for it, full commitment, um, right, what are we going to go for here, we need to actually upgrade this to build um, the private workshops that I want, we need the small city four, we're currently a large town, so I need a little bit more money to be able to do that, um, could just keep upgrading that. Fine. What can we do over here? Also, that one we want to upgrade as well. That one does income, peasantry, and more food production and more prestige, which I'll get. That that like I'm gonna upgrade that because prestige will um, prestige will help me increase my rank as well. Oh, instant construction don't have enough of that. Uh, right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, has he reclaimed Liu Yang? He has. Yuan Shu has reclaimed the imperial capital that was raised to the ground. Interesting. I wonder if we'll see any events about the imperial seal and stuff. If uh, the tiger escapes him or, or what yeah, goes yeah, down. Yeah. Isn't that to do with you? Don't you order him to give it over or is that someone else? Oh, it's Yuan Shu, isn't it? think so, yeah. I don't have tax collection, but that will upset public order. So, let's not do that. Yeah, that's all the peasants are good for, paying taxes. <laughs> um, so, I actually have a really tricky situation. I'm probably going to either lose an iron mine or a city, and I think I have to go in the aid of the city, right? That's, uh, city's more important, but it just brings me further away from where I need to be, which is frustrating, but I guess needs must at this point, and if they do land, then it, it should be quite easy pickings for the army. My army should be able to wipe them away, but it's just it's annoying because the garrison. If the garrison was fully replenished, I would I would leave them to their own devices. But it's half strength, and I think you commanding the settlement could probably break it. So I don't want to give that up because I have to go all the way back again. And overall, I'm just yeah, there's not really much else for me to do at the moment. I'm just just waiting around and building up a little bit of a bank to improve buildings at the moment and then next time we get another reform which will be great i know exactly the one i'm going for nice i guess yeah let's just stop let's spend our money and uh, improve to a level three fishery because uh, it gives me more back. food yep here we go oh he hasn't attacked me though thank god lucky oh and this guy just runs away oh i mean it gives the garrison the time well, to replenish the garrison oh, replenishes i think it's okay because it's a walled settlement so I think you'll be able to take it. I just need the garrison to be up to full strength. 
mean, I'm not doing anything with Sal Ren. I could marry him off. <laughs> um, but I think I'd rather keep my family close and with me for now. One, you doing anything? No, good. My turn. Also, um, oh, Tao Quan has been succeeded by Tao Ying. Oh. So he's obviously opt it. Oh, what's this? Trusting versus suspicious. As China descends into dynastic feuds, a quandary emerges between your companions as to whether to be trusting or suspicious. Trust is all we have, one argues, as China falters. Another counters that in chaotic times, people look only to themselves. Nobody can be trusted. They look to you for your opinion. Suspicion. Relation deepens between Cao Cao and Lady Bian. Um... Why is it you do not have the following trait? Trusting. I can't do that one because I've got suspicious, and that would be he, um, uh, Lan Yang, who was the sentinel that appeared. So I'm going to go with suspicion. <laughs> trust, trust my wife. What she suggests. Ooh, overseer. That is actually quite a nice one. Can I give that to. Mr. Sao Sao. Oh dear, what's happening? My army is trespassing. What? Oh no! <gasps> Huang Zhu! No! Quickly get military access from him. Oh, dude! And I can't attack him because his overlord is Liu Bao. Oh. Did he take the iron mine before you? Yeah, he got there before me. He took it out during the intern phase. So you did all the hard work and he just I've done all rules. the hard work, yeah. Unless I can... Mm. Unless I can get him to trade the region. Doubt it. Um, Contested. I want the iron mine. Make this work. What would he want? He would want territory from me. <laughs> uh, ain't happening. He wants a large town. I'm not swapping the large town for the iron mine. He wants gold. Oh, and a lump sum. God damn. Uh, can I trade any ancillary? I doubt I've got enough ancillaries to do this. But let's just throw the let's throw everything on the table. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's getting closer. Not quite enough. Offer to trade food. Offer all my food trade. Still not enough. Ah, damn you, sir. What if I increase the amount I'm willing to trade with him each turn? Oh, my days. I could totally do it. Oh, that's actually... It's not even... I mean, it's quite a lot, actually. It's quite bad. Do I really want that much? I kind of feel like I do. This is this could cripple me, though. I mean, it'd only cripple you for, like, ten turns, right? That's what yeah. most of the agreements would be for, but then you'd have yeah. the, uh, the settlement for the entirety of the game, which would... This no. is true, and it is an iron mine, so I'm thinking it's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, so. I mean, my level 2 iron mine gives me 200 gold, so already that's money you're recuperating from. Okay, I'm... Plus I'm, the extra trade and... I'm doing prestige. it. Post deal. It's mine! Four. Oh, that's hurt. That's hurt. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my mine. Right, you guys move that way. And this army... Start moving back up to my other territory. Oh, that was that was stressful. What is it? It's a level three. Okay, nice. Wow, is that the garret? Oh, I'm really glad they moved in there because I would have that would have been a tough fight with what they had left. Thank you, uh, Huang Su, for clearing that out for me. What's this? Requires reform. Okay, the next upgrade requires reform. But I'm getting plus 300 income from it. And plus 5 prestige. Oh, that should have tipped me up nicely. Yeah. Hello. Oh, and I can do a reform at this point. Beautiful. How close are you to a second marquee? Um, I will double check in a minute. But do I want another trade agreement? Hmm. Uh, but second marquee, I am now 31 out of 50. That's so, almost there now. Yeah, who around me? Um, we've already got trade with you guys. Who around me could I trade with? You guys are open to trade. Um, Wang, what about you? You're not. 
You haven't got trade. Got trade. Can't trade with the Han Empire. I mean, I could, but a bad idea. Okay, well, he's open to it as our as is Wang. So let's do that reform, then get another trade agreement instead. Back to diplomacy. Quick deal. Look at trade agreements. How much do I get from it? 309? 316. We'll go with the 316. Ding, ding, ding. Negotiate deal. Um, won't do it for marriage. Oh, I have a little look. Uh, request a payment. Mm, okay, that's not gonna not gonna work. I think I'm just gonna have to take the. I could offer I could offer marriage. I'm not I'm not using him. But I feel like offering uh, having someone that I can send off for marriage might be a useful bargaining chip later on. So let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Treasuries. If I was you, I'd hold him off because you know we're only what twenty turns into the game so far. There's no coalitions really forming or anything. I feel like. Having that chip towards, you know, another 20 turns time will be much more valuable. Quite useful, yeah. Right, so yeah, we definitely want to go for the private workshops to get more income from industry. <sighs> right, end of the turn again. Nice, nice. So I think what I need to do is keep on upgrading my, my food production with uh, in this absolute mad lad... Uh, Commandery just produces me all the food I would ever need. Have you got a battle? Do you reckon? Um, well, I'm rushing over. I think I'm gonna lose the iron mine this turn, and I'm rushing over to it. I'll be there in three turns time, two turns time after this one. Okay. So hopefully in two turns time. If not, my army's already over here anyway. So I'm sure why we can have a city battle or some some sort of engagement because I'm itching to get to get to use my boys. Also, I know exactly. What reform I'm doing as well. Start going down that military tree because it's going to be. I need to get that extra army slot down there and a couple, a couple, uh, a couple more reforms so I can have more armies. Um, and that's my turn. Very, very quick turn to be honest. But nice. Yeah, yeah, oh, kind of, oh, oh, oh! He's coming back. He's, he's, yeah. This is the end of his faction, so it's definitely a delegate. It's a delegate smush. Definitely. He's not even commanding the army either. Where is he? Maybe he's wounded. Oh, I think he was wounded, yeah. A decisive victory. Thanks for the coin. Um, yeah, I'll take 4% of the punishment. Yep, here he comes as well. I think, uh, I mean, we'll just... Because this is just a garrison. We can just delegate this and I'll lose it and then... I'll come in with my other army when it gets here for a battle. Okay. Because I think people don't want to see us fighting boring garrison battles. I'll just give up the settlement. Oh, he's garrisoned it as well. He will rue the day. <laughs> move back. My turn. Back to destroyed, he is down. Oh, okay. You want to choose to declare war on the other die? Oh, we've got another child. Sao Meng. And assignments recalled. Okay, so you've maxed that out. Go on available. Everyone else is deployed or we don't have any free assignment slots. Okay, it's going to take a turn for that to finish up. Okay. Oath Sworn. Nice. And Oath Sworn yet because we've stuck together for so long and had so many battles. Three turns still fully replenished. I'm actually going to force march you back towards my capital to build up from there. I'm assuming she's leveled up again or no, it's telling me that she's Oh dear, unsatisfied. Probably gonna have to promote her unless I give an ancillary. That's with him. Yeah, let's steal that on over. Yeah, confirm. You have a clay rat. Add that bus. Great. Right. 
I am probably going to have to promote her for now. But happy. Got to keep the, the wife happy. Right, Sao Sao, you're replenishing up over here. If anything, I want to bring you back towards the capital. So let's swing you back over here, away from the iron mine, and quickly up to diplomacy just to check how you feel. You are... Make this work. Oh, you want that much. I don't really want to give you that. Uh, what about, have we got any ancillaries? No. Okay, right, we won't do that just yet. Don't build anything. I could put tax collector in, but I don't want the public order here. Or whatever else comes available. Back over to the fish. The, the enemy army came back, the ham force came back to siege me. I just, I can't keep on going back and forth, back and forth. I'm just going to have to hope that he doesn't like, I feel like I could even defend it, even if we had to fight it. Like, I can't imagine that army would be able to breach it, even if you were commanding it. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep on heading this way and, and try and get over here to have a good battle with Dong, who is currently chilling this way. I'm force marching as well, so hopefully he doesn't come and get me. But we should be there next turn, I think. And it'll be a defensive battle for you, if okay. he stays in there, that is. But... I think my, with my heroes and stuff, I'll be able to smash my way through with defences. Beautiful. I'm just, yeah, if I lose this province in the far north, it's going to be very annoying just because I have to then rush all the way back to go and take it. We're just going to have to see what the AI does. Is there any, anything else I can do? Unification's on the go. Does Kong Rong, is he anywhere close to signing a unification with me? He just says no, right? So just wanted to do that. I don't want to give up my food either. So yeah, again, another super quick turn, but... Just waiting. Ooh, oh, oh, he ran away, the coward. Uh -huh. And the other guy did siege me as well. How annoying. Oh. Uh oh. Alliance of Hans Tui declared war on Dong Ming. Okay. Oh, and war declared between Su and Han Empire. And. Okay. Let me get all that's going on. A plague of locusts. Minus five food production, faction wide. Uh oh, I'm now negative on food. That's not <laughs> good. Minus yeah, four is that as well. That is not ideal. Now, Sao is rank five now, though. Available assignments, replenishment when commanding. I kind of want another assignment, so let's do that for now. That means I've got two that I can pop in. So she's got um, income from peasantry, and this is we've, our settlement's all about it. So pop her in there, and then your construction time, building up, keep construction cost, and income from commerce, income from industry. I know where I'm going to pop her. Over here, surplus markets. Does hit our reserves though. So, do we gain any more? Dong Ming. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I still can't build anything. I could put government support in there, but we don't really have anything for that. Administration offices uh, is more prestige. Economic cost reduction. Right now, I can't unlock that to like, upgrade it anyway. Yeah, let's put that in there. Go and get that boy in there. Back on over to the fish. Disease, yes. Minus. Oh, I got disease in what? My army? Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, did I get this in the settlement or did he get this? There was a disease in an army. Oh no, this is not good. The gar oh yeah, this is not good. Garrison pretty strong. No, my garrison is no. It's uh, the city I'm being. The Han is assaulting my far right food province. Oh right. I kind of made the decision to go and take the iron mine back. 
but the oh. he's got disease in his army so hopefully that affects him when i end my turn and we might just have to fight this uh battle off camera or something because i don't think it'll be exciting but i think it'll be one we'll, we'll have to fight yep yeah let's get off force march and come take back so his iron mine oh he's right there but i can't catch him i don't think Oh, he reinforces. Okay, well, we got a battle then. He reinforces. It's oh. a close victory for me, but we'll, we'll fight it. It'll be yep. fun. Um, so, yeah, so we are for my first battle. Close victory. Oh, yeah, yeah, crap. He's got a load of reinforcement. He's got D. Oh, yeah. His main army with his archery masters. Yeah. I will play as AI then. Here we go. Taken us nearly two two videos to get here, but at last, <laughs> the, we got one. the heroic trio enters the field of battle yeah i mean this guy is really unfortunate because as soon as he attacked me kong rong has moved into one of his settlements with a full stack like three arm three generals full armies so it's this guy made a, a bad decision let's get this bad boy started oh over yeah, a little moin a it's mine. quite small one as well because oh. like there's only three entrances you're really lucky because the reinforcements do not come anywhere it come in anywhere near the settlement i mean it's kind of lucky for you as well because if a reinforcement was to say for example coming behind me i would turn my entire army around and kill them before yeah before i make yep. my way in very true barely have enough units to hold on here it's gonna be it's gonna be tough like the initial force is going to take a proper beating. Yep, you have to try and hope that you can hold it long enough for, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, for reinforcements to arrive. Oop, it's Kindle. I mean, you have some cavalry as well rushing over as well, which will be quite nice. Yeah. I'm ready when you are, by the way. I'm just yep, looking at my units. I've got uh, some good units as well. I've got some uh, some decent well, no, you, you've, you've got uh, Zhang Fei and uh, Guan Yu. Not those guys. Yeah. Oh, the reinforcement is coming straight in. That's good. I don't have to wait. Nice. Yeah, they'll, they'll be right there. This bad boy. Oh, he's got dual axes. Nice. Yeah, he's a bit of a crazy dude. If he wants to duel, uh, he wants to duel, duel my boy. I'm happy with it. He can make. He can take his pick on who he wants to duel. <laughs> oh, Zhang Fei also has his bow in his back as well. I'll, I'll duel uh, the obey. Uh, probably not, actually. I think. <laughs> Just in case, I don't know. I'm nervous because well, I haven't fought with him yet, so I don't really know what to expect. Just commit my army to every single breach point, get my generals in there as well to start doing some damage. Should be all good. I oh, yeah, also have to pay a little bit of attention as well to your reinforcements coming on because they're obviously yeah. hidden through fog of war. I kind of love it if there was like a little mine entrance the other way through where I could just like oh, walk through the mountain. So cool. That'd be so cool. One of the things I'm personally not a fan of, though, from the aesthetic of this game is the arrow trails. Like, yeah, I just, I, hopefully it can be toned down a little bit yeah i just i do not like them but you kind of have to have them on because you can turn them off but then you don't know who you can't see right? at all yeah oh zhang fei's in he's breached <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's gonna cause some uh, some issues for you for sure get the archers there to start shooting his archers Lu Bei can come up as well Guan run cavalry run up. Oh, that whole left looking. side's open. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I can't do anything until this reinforcement. Yeah, I have no idea when the reinforcements in. are coming either. Uh... Yeah, the men, the men are running, dude, because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's not many of them. <laughs> yeah, from the yellow turban warriors, though. They look pretty well armored. Well, well, 
Let's commit a few men up here to take the city centre. Oh, on so much cav. Yeah, I, I got a nice amount because obviously Liu Bei benefits from Saber Cavalry, gives them good bonuses and speed and stuff, so... Reinforcement's desperately running. <laughs> I think it's going to be a, a good old switcheroo soon enough. You're going to have to try and take a... Yeah, try and take it. You'll, you'll, yeah, you'll get in there and turn around and form up. Yeah, literally. Why not? Now, I'll be honourable. I'll fight you out in the open field. Oh, you, you can take it if you want. Hey, Liu Bei is, is honourable, so... Some of these towers stop shooting me. I made sure to try and keep Liu Bei as far out of the action as uh, possible because that time when we auto-resolved him and he died on like turn yeah. two, <laughs> I just never want to see that again. So the city is being claimed, <laughs> or the iron yep. line rather. Get rid of that that big buff you have from uh, securing it. Oh, I meant to. Need to need to run back and grab it. Or is this an actual capture point? I'm not too sure. If there are capture points anymore, if it's just a morale bonus. No, it just says morale capture point. Bonus. Yeah, not a victory point. Yeah. Which is, uh, I think, cool. Cool to see. My archers are actually really deadly as well because I've got um, I've got some Yi marksmen, so they do a ton of damage. They're not just normal like normal bowmen you get at the beginning of the game. Nice. Right, peasants are assembling. Iron mine burns. <laughs> You're ready. Until I've uh, captured this and everyone's formed up, and then I'll move forward. Let everyone get their energy back as well, because they've, they've obviously been in a, a pretty crazy fight already. We can uh, triple speed it if you want until we're a bit closer as well, just uh, Good. smooth it out. Prepare for battle! Just gonna put my cavalry into... Uh... On snow formation. <laughs> nice, nice. Right at the front. Yep, of course, of course. Definitely the, very uh, tactical. It's the way to do it, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> exactly what you need to do. Victory is assured now. Yeah, I mean, you can just you can just uh, all F4 now if you want. I won't. I oh, won't mind. oh, happy. At least you have trebuchets on the front line, I guess. Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> That's one thing I've still got going for me. Archers! <laughs> Just out of your range, I think. Hit them. Okay, I guess we'll we'll click play now as we're yep. kicking off the battle. I'm just so you, you want to fight? You want to fight anyone interesting? Do you want to want to accept that? I feel like it's oh only fair. my days. <laughs> I feel like it's only fair to be honest. Rejected coward. Oh. Definitely not. You sure? 
I'm actually going to just toggle on the fact that he won't take any... He won't accept any jewels. He's a man of the people. He needs to be alive to, to govern. Go, go, go! Got to make sure archers. Don't, don't get caught. Don't get caught by that. Infantry pouring in. I have the numbers, so I just have to be patient and eventually I will envelop you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go, go on then. We should have a duel just because why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean. At this point. Oh, you knocked me off. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, how do you like that, Guan Yu? It's so sober now. Guan Yu's dead. Man, imagine if you killed Guan Yu. I'd be so <laughs> Oh, no, he's he's cheering me up. <laughs> don't give up for the oh, you got your cavalry in. Just not enough. Yeah, I mean, just look at him. Guan Yu is absolute tank. Absolute His machine. Is Oh, it's, it's like slapping him with like a twig by comparison. Oh, he kicked him away. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah, that's all he can do. Oh, God! <laughs> See you later. And that's him dead. Oh, I didn't see I like, him. I like to think that he gave his life for the uh, for the peasants, for the people. Yeah, I mean, what more could he have, what more could he have done, right? Spirit, let's even get Lee Bay in here. Cavalry got a little bit caught there. Yeah, I had an ability with that guy that I was dueling with that immobilizes troops. Oh, very nice. So I threw that on all your cavalry when you were trying to flank to start with. Oh, he's broken. Scholar is gone. Huang Shao. Let's quickly surround the rest of your men. Surprised that, like, your army's still standing, considering... The general's broken and yeah yeah morale seems tweaked so it's actually like it does help the battle last a fair bit yeah i mean well this has been a i mean we did triple speed a bit of it but it's been over a 24 minute battle so far so that's been good uh, not bad at all nice way to uh wrap up this second video to lead into the live stream yeah for sure where sound sound and Leo Bay will clash. Exactly. I mean, I feel like, you know, I've only got a couple settlements once I kill this guy off fully, and now that he's dead, it, his lands will be easy pickings. You know, I'll be heading right your way. Oh, it's my Militia of Virtue that's still going there, unbreakable. All right, well, we got Guan Yu fighting him now, and I'll do some Binding Fury, so... He'll kill them soon enough. Yeah. Slaughter them all. Oh, they're going down. Six of them left. Five, four, three, two, uh, dead. <laughs> and that's the way the cookie crumbles. And man, 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 how close that would have been if you had that army inside the settlement to begin yeah, with. Yeah, that would have been that would have been brutal with the towers. Yeah, uh huh. I'd have to really try and break my way through. I mean, yeah, look at that. Zheng Fei got 269 kills. Hey. Well, I think that battle was definitely worth the wait. Indeed. Can't wait to see what these boys can do against a, a proper force like yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully die. <laughs> and I think I killed him as well, right? I think he's dead. No, he's, he's, he's alive. He's alive. Yeah, I think I he managed to escape. Friend. He is yeah. wounded, though. So he's out for three turns, I think. Yeah. And I'm hoping that I can I can clean out the rest of you the lost a thousand of time. your men, though. Yeah, oh yeah, it was uh, costly for sure. The only thing is, is that was my settlement to begin with, so to, to lose that, give that up that early would just sort of suck. And I have to hope that... I have to hope that I can defeat, defend this when it comes to it. 
is under siege and because of that I am losing food all of a sudden. Oh yeah, I guess with the plague as well and now taking my settlement. So we'll come back around. Um, what do we want to do? I guess we could build, upgrade the lumber yard. We have a bit of money. I'd love to recruit another army, I just obviously can't. It'd be great to really help me out, but I just need to either get that reform or get a level up on someone to do it. Um, let's actually upgrade to a to a city on our capital as well. Level five, that'd be really good. Ooh, here we go. Yon Shao wants to become non-aggression with me, and I just give him oh, 161 gold for 10 turns. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Cool, cool, I'll, cool. I'll cool, befriend cool. him. If you're befriending Yon Shu, I'll, I'll befriend Yon Shao. Yeah, bring in a bro each. Oh, Yon Shu wants... He wants that iron mine that I just spent all that money on, <laughs> and he's offering me money and uh, to arrange a marriage. Uh, no. Reject. Not even going to haggle. Not haggling, buddy. It ain't happening. It is not happening. Oh, what's this? Fear of assassins. You boast to your guards of a sixth sense that protects you from assassination and conspire with a servant to prove it, promising a handsome reward. The next day, the servant arrives to play their part with a dagger secreted beneath their robes. With all your officers watching, you decide to act. Reveal the assassin. Vigilance plus two cover cost for enemy spies or execute the assassin. Uh, yeah, that will cause a lot of public order problems. So uh, let's just reveal the assassin, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Well, I guess we probably should wrap things up here for this, uh, this second video of our multiplayer campaign. And uh, we'll be continuing this on Monday the 13th on both my Twitch and Jackie's YouTube channel, streaming it for three hours. So we'll definitely get to clash um, with one another or, you know, forge a wonderful coalition. Um, so we shall see. But things should get pretty interesting. I think we'll both be getting towards that second rank. Uh, yeah, be sure to tune on in. We'll put links down to it in the description probably pin a comment so you guys have all the info uh, be sure to tune in to those live streams but uh, thanks again for tuning in and for watching until the next one sao sao for now ta ta